possession, whatever you need. Science! You won't believe your eyes. This discovery will give you faith sorry. in existence. I'm sorry, I'm a... Greetings, Your Excellency. I wish you a good day, Your Excellency. Come one, come all. Citizens of Serene, come to me. You won't regret this miraculous opportunity. Your time is precious in these dark hours, but what you're about to discover could save your life. Come closer now, good people. Don't be afraid. Come celebrate the miracle of science. Yeah. My help. Yeah. And death for the other. Yeah. <laughs> Your Excellency, Lord de Sade, I have been told that you were named Legate. Congratulations. Those are great responsibilities for someone as young as yourself. But you will bring honor upon your family and the congregation. Of that, I'm certain. I thank you, Excellency. I've come here to inform you of our departure for Tierfredi. My cousin Constantine is about to take up office as governor of New Serene, and I'm accompanying him. I had no idea you would be leaving so quickly. What a shame. I had thought... Uh, well, then, that is a pity. Have a pleasant voyage. A brilliant future awaits you. 
They say that it is a marvelous island. Please convey to your cousin my congratulations and sincere wishes for success. You seem slightly hesitant. Please tell me what troubles you. A rather unscrupulous individual has been sowing trouble in Serene. A charlatan passing himself off as an alchemist. Do people actually give credence to these lies? Alas, yes. They snatch up his celebrated panacea. Remedies worse than the ill, believe me. As you can well imagine, alchemists are our pride. This vulgar trickster casts dirt upon their reputation and our own at the same time. In any city of the Bridge Alliance, we would have arrested him. But here, we respect your laws. I shall see what I can do, but make no promises. My departure is imminent. I thank you, Excellency. And I am pleased to see you have taken so well to your new functions of diplomacy. The man operates in the city center. He is said to be clever and mean. Be careful. I need to be going. Goodbye, Excellency. Goodbye, Lord de Sade. Citizens, I present to you Panacea, the absolute cure of everything. Toothache, stomach ailment, and even an open wound. This potion heals all of that. And more still, this little phial is the product of years of research and intensive labor. I hear you asking, if this remedy can heal one from the Malachor. Alas, not yet. But your question is legitimate. I am so close to finding the cure. But the Malachor isn't the only ailment causing you to suffer. Not true? Then don't miss out on this chance and give yourself a healthy, and energize life. Rejoice! A file only costs a few coins, and well worth it to make your life shiny and new again. Does it really heal everything, your potion? Everything. Absolutely everything. Except the Malachor, of course. That being said, it is known that those in top health resist the Malachor best of all. Then don't throw away this chance. Think of all the pains that this potion could help you avoid. You are right. It's a deal. I'm gonna take two. There's a man that knows a good deal when he sees one. Hurry now. There won't be enough for everyone. There he is. He's our man, no doubt. His speech is well polished. I even feel like buying some. And if we had a word with him, I wonder if he'll serve us the same routine. Ah, you're finally tempted. In all honesty, I haven't made up my mind yet. I want to be certain that I'm not dealing with a charlatan. In this day and age, I can't blame you. What might I do to convince you? Will you drink one of your potions to prove your good faith? Of course. I take a little sip every morning. But as I'm in perfect health, 
you won't be able to verify the improvement in my condition. But if it helps you make up your mind, give me just a moment. There now. As you see, I am still in excellent condition. Come on now, I saw you take that vial out of your pocket. Nothing proves that it's the same potion that you sell to your clients. As a man of science, I consider skepticism a remarkable quality. But in your case, it is not skepticism, but blindness. We need to steal one of these potions and force him to drink it. Brilliant idea, Kurt. Let's take a look at his cart. Have you finally made up your mind? I happen to have a vial of your medicine. Would you be willing to drink it in front of us? To prove that there is no risk? This bullying is trying my patience. I'm beginning to suspect that you might be working for a rival. You refuse to taste it. You might have put something in it to cause me harm or further disgrace. No, look. The vial is still sealed. It comes straight from your stock. And you dare challenge me when you have just admitted to being a thief. Come now. You can see for yourself that I'm gladly returning your vial so that you might drink it in front of witnesses. This might help to dissipate my doubts as well as those of these brave folk. Yes, no, I... You don't have the right... Damnation. He got away. He can't have gone far. Find him before his head ends up on a spike. Think back to the note that we found. We need to take a look at the tavern. He won't leave the city without his belongings. You again? What are you doing in my room? I'm not the only one that has found you. Have you seen the mob that is gathering in the street? I'm neither deaf nor blind. <sighs> By the spheres. Why didn't I leave the city while there was still time? The Alliance Ambassador is quite unsettled by your commerce, and he is the one who sent me. Sahin? Him again. Ruining my career wasn't enough for him. He's the very reason I had to leave the Alliance. And here I am, playing the part of the potion maker. Me, who was once a respected member of the Academy of Al-Sad. 
Why does Sahin bear you such hatred? I was unfortunate enough to oppose certain great minds of the Academy, to criticize their methodology. I saw them inflicting torture on sick prisoners, making them drink the most vile poisons. To find a remedy to the Malachor, they won't hesitate to kill. I could not keep my silence. It is for an act of courage that you fell from grace and earned Sahin's hatred. Dr. Sahin warned me that you were an imposter. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me coming from him. I was a master alchemist. I understand if you don't believe me after all that, but I have a number of documents to prove it. I would still be one if Sahin hadn't set up a chain of machinations to disgrace me. Are you not ashamed to have poisoned those poor souls? These potions are not harmful. That is to say that they don't contain any harmful ingredients. But you could just as easily produce real healing potions. So why don't you? You don't understand. I fled. But I haven't put a stop to my own research. This potion is an attempt to create in those who drink it a resistance to the Malachor. So you manipulate people to use this experimental fodder? That is completely unethical. I don't have a choice, but it does not harm them, I assure you. If this potion were inoffensive, then why wouldn't you drink it when I offered it to you? I ran tests on myself for such a long time that I ended up becoming intolerant to it. A small sip of this mixture provokes in me now a violent reaction. I mean, the mob would have been furious in any case, but a normal dose, I assure you, is without risk. Your methods don't seem so different than those of your colleagues. I don't torture people. And this potion only has side effects in high doses. Perhaps, but you're hurting innocence. I cannot let your commerce continue. So, what are you gonna do with me, sir? I'm going to help you leave the city, but you must promise never to return. I swear it. Very well then. I need to first get you away from those who want to see you hanged. If we can't find a way to sneak out of here discreetly, we will have to confront the populace. I haven't lost hope that I'll be able to help them hear reason. It would be better if I remain hidden while waiting. Please listen, I beg you. If you want him to reimburse you, get in the back of the line like everyone else. Believe me, I understand why you're angry. Me? It's not money I want. That charlatan tried to poison us. I couldn't give a flying pile of dung for your pretty words. 
We're gonna hang him high! And you too, if you're an accomplice! How absurd! I'm the one who put an end to his operation! Well, in that case, help us catch him so he can be punished like he deserves! He's trapped! He'll have to come out someday, you'll see! And so you plan on waiting here? <laughs> I do not advise that. All of you drank one of those potions, am I right? You're right, we did. Tasted of death. I did nothing for me, Elsa. As for me, I only drank a few drops. And my tooth is aching more than ever. Alas, you need only drink a mere drop for it to provoke paralysis. Pa paralysis <sighs> A terrible side effect. The symptoms appear sooner or later. No one is spared from them. What? Are we doomed, then? Everyone. Except, of course, those going to see a doctor to receive the antidote. But what are we gonna do? The doctor costs a fortune! We're all gonna end up like statues! Listen to me, everyone. I know a good doctor that will help us. Come on, follow me! That charlatan will just have to wait to get what's coming to him. The alchemist is now far from danger, at least. Go and tell him the good news. So, did you find a way to get me out of this hornet's nest? I persuaded the mob to disperse calmly and without a fight. The way is free. Very well. What power of persuasion? They didn't seem of a mind to hear reason from me. You are free. Climb into your carriage and leave Serene immediately. Let me deal with Dr. Sahin. I owe you my life, sir. I will be eternally in your debt. I remind you to never step foot here again. I have no desire to return anyway. <sighs> Farewell. Your Excellency. Lord de Sade. I tracked down your man near the coin guard barracks. Finally. Did you capture him? Let's just say I put an end to his activities. His reputation in Serene is forever tarnished. Matters turned out a little more complicated than anticipated. Why should I deliver him to you? You deliberately hid the truth about him from me. What? Might I remind you that you're in audience with the ambassador of the Bridge Alliance? And you to a legate of the Congregation of Merchants, that you treat like an imbecile. This man is indeed an alchemist of the Bridge, and he told me much about your disagreement of opinion. And of course you sided with him. Certainly not. I have no part to play in your quarrels. I just chased him from our city. Now, if you're still intent on placing him in irons, you need to capture him on your own lands. How embarrassing. I should have shown more honesty in your regard. Please accept my excuses. And this modest gift for the voyage that awaits you. I need to be going. Goodbye, Excellency. Goodbye, Lord de Sade.
Good day, Excellency. Sir de Sade, to what do I owe the pleasure? I have come to inform you that my cousin Constantine and I are departing for Tierfordy on the hour. Ah, yes. I did indeed hear talk that you had both received callings of greater stature. Allow me to congratulate you. Were you not named Legate of the Congregation? You are correct, Excellency. I thank you. It is a station of great honor that I am sure you will fill with brio and panache. The Mother Cardinal Cornelia will be enchanted to work with you, and your cousin in the future. I only regret that your departure is so sudden. Really? To be entirely honest with you, I was hoping to solicit your help in a rather delicate matter. Tell me more about it. And perhaps I can take care of your problem before my departure. Very well. A small group of dangerous heretics has found refuge in Serene. We know that your uncle tolerates the presence of all pagans within the city walls. But these particular non-believers threaten the fragile harmony of this place. We would consider it a tremendous favor if you would arrest them and deliver them to our guard. Heresy is not a crime in Serene. You do know that. But I'm sure my uncle would hear your arguments. Why call on my intervention? The prince would indeed give us his blessing. But it would take time. Far too much time. For according to our sources, these fugitives have already made contact with a smuggler to take them who knows where. I see. You're hoping that I'll be able to do something before they make it to an enemy city. If your heretics are planning on boarding a ship, then they must be in the dockyards. I'll look into this and see what I can do. I must be going. Farewell, Excellency. May the light guide you, Dasade.